Hi everyone, my name is Judy from Happy Holistics and thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today we're going to be doing a super scandalous pantry raid. So whenever I tell people that I am a nutritionist, a lot of the times they ask me what I eat at home. And when I rattle off some of the foods that I do eat, I get a lot of blank stares. So today we're going to be doing a pantry tour, I guess, um, that'll show you what I have on hand on a regular basis. Since I share my home with two other people, I've got a designated drawer to keep all my weirdo nutrition stuff. A lot of my drawer is composed of spices, so for example, dill is an anti-inflammatory. Cinnamon is great for balancing blood sugar. Bonito flakes give a smoky, fishy flavor and is used in traditional Japanese cooking. Parsley is a source of potassium, which amongst other things helps to bring oxygen to your brain. Herbamir is a combination of spices that contains no MSG and a little goes a long way. Celery seed, like many other spices, have protective antioxidant properties. This is a bottle of rum which I've infused with vanilla beans. Sometimes I use it in place of vanilla extract in baking. This label says it's chlorophyll, but I really repurposed this dropper bottle for traditionally made vanilla extract. So it's pretty much composed of vodka and vanilla beans. As you can see, it's brown rather than the green of chlorophyll. Sucanat is granulated sugarcane juice. I tossed in some dried vanilla beans for its scent, but it didn't really transfer. I also have xylitol as a sugar substitute. As you can probably see, it is quite processed, but studies do suggest that they protect your teeth from cavities. Here I have a small tin of smoked paprika, which contains vitamin A and vitamin E. Here's a takeout container filled with miscellaneous spices. So for example, I have oregano, which boosts the immune system. So instead of going for oil of oregano at the health food store, integrate the herb regularly into your diet. In this chips container, I've stored some vanilla beans. Not only do they smell amazing, but they are also said to have aphrodisiac properties. Brown rice sugar tastes less sweet than white sugar, but it actually spikes blood sugar more. I'd suggest it in moderation. Coconut oil is one of my favorite things. I always choose unrefined to eat because I do love the smell. I choose refined for body care products. I love red lentils because they're quick to cook and they're an inexpensive source of dietary fiber. I have steel cut oats, which are less processed than oatmeal. And yes, I do love reusing glass jars. Here's some pocked quinoa. I'm not a big fan of this and won't be restocking once I'm finished. I love regular quinoa though, which I rotate with other grains like brown and black rice. Once you've had stove top popped popcorn, you'll never go back to the microwave kind. It's seriously delicious. I've been having mine with cinnamon and xylitol. These are oat grouts that my mom got me. I usually soak these in water overnight before cooking them. Spelt flakes are related to wheat and can be used like oat flakes. So while I don't like either of these in a breakfast porridge, I do like to bake them into granolas. I've got some powdered green tea here and later on you'll see all my loose leaf. I use Himalayan sea salt regularly. It gets its pink color from naturally occurring minerals, similar to how there's also gray colored sea salts. I keep my sprouting seeds together in another takeout container. I've got green kale, alfalfa, broccoli, and radish. They all have their own unique beneficial qualities. For example, broccoli sprouts allow for greater absorption of the cancer-fighting sulforaphane than regular broccoli. Here I have unflavored hemp protein in an ice cream container. Since I don't often have it, I've also written down what a serving is. Next up, I have whole coffee beans in a salad dressing container. On the one hand, experts say that it's bad for overstimulating our adrenals. On the other hand, I'm a bit of a jerk without my coffee. According to Dr. Axe, 3 grams of spirulina contains 2,800% more beta-carotene than carrots, so it's good for your eyes. I deadass bought this several years ago and it's still here because of the taste.
barley grass protects your body from free radical damage and it's said to be really nourishing for your hair. I purchased a bunch of Emergency a while ago because it was on sale. It helps to replenish electrolytes which regulate nerve and muscle communications as well as liquids in your body. My tea stash begins with some crushed up chamomile. It didn't come like this so I highly recommend that you transfer it into a protective jar or a tea tin. In this old vitamin container, I have some dried lemongrass, which I use for teas. Both lemongrass and chamomile are great for stomach aches. I usually prepare yellow dock root tea over stovetop. It's great for digesting fats and is healthy for the liver. Cat's claw is another thing that I use to make teas. It helps with skin problems. This is a Japanese sencha green tea. It helps weight loss by stimulating metabolism and it's loaded with heart protective polyphenols. These are dried chaga mushrooms to make tea. For health benefits and instructions on how to brew, I've left the link to a video below. These are milk thistle seeds which I also use to make teas. It helps to improve liver function and may be indicated in regeneration of liver cells. Here is my stash of sea vegetables. That was kombu, this is nori, I also have dulse, kelp, and wakame. Sea vegetables are great for supporting thyroid function as well as supplying various minerals like calcium, manganese, magnesium, zinc, phosphorus, potassium, and iodine, just to name a few. This says hot chocolate, but it's really just cocoa powder. If you can actually read my scribbles, I've taped on the ratio between cocoa and sugar for hot chocolate, as well as how to combine the cocoa to butter as a substitute for baking chocolate. Here I have some sun-dried tomatoes. To use, I plop them into a bit of boiling water and let it steep until softened. I occasionally add psyllium fiber to smoothies for the added fiber. It promotes regular bowel movements and can help regulate cholesterol. Pau Darko is another bark used for tea. It can help with keeping candida yeast populations in your gut controlled. I have two types of noodles in this container. There's a wheat one as well as a buckwheat soba. Soba noodles contain various B vitamins as well as minerals such as phosphorus, magnesium, and iron. Slippery elm tastes kind of funky, but I keep it around as a sore throat and cough remedy. Ashwagandha is an adaptogen which helps regulate hormones and helps you manage stress. Last but not least, cacao nibs are one of the healthier chocolate options available. They give you fiber and higher magnesium levels than chocolate, all without the addition of sugar. Hey, if you made it this far into my video, you may like what you see. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel by hitting that red button down below and click on the like button to let me know you care. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.